Hey YouTube, um, this is the Smiley Bee Face. I just was coming on here to show you my braid pattern for my Boheme Brazilian Wave 3 4th wig that I did. Um, I kind of got this braid pattern from Hair de la Creme. Go check out her YouTube page um, when she did her 3 4th wig. And this is what it looks like. This here is my leave out. And then I also have a leave out on the side. On the side. And in the back, this is the braid pattern if you can see. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. This is what the top looks like. And um, this is the half wig. The Bohemian Brazilian wig. This is what I'm going to leave out. Um, I have a lot of extra band here from the net that I used. So I'm going to cut that off. Um, I just put it into eight twists or so because I wet it just to get the pattern to wave up. And this is what the hair looks like. So once this finished drying, then I'm going to install it. Um, and hopefully my braid out would blend in. Um, this is 12 inches. I guess I have to do a video or take some pictures with it on. But this is um, 12 inches in the color 2 which I thought was kind of light for my hair but my roots are actually darker than the rest of my hair so we'll see hopefully I can get it to blend um, I used one pack of hair and like two tracks from the second pack and I had spaced the tracks I don't think I don't know if you can see it but I was spacing them at least about two finger widths away from each other as I was going up and then when I got to the top I made it um, a little closer so this is it I'm so excited I can't wait to try it on I usually take pictures and haven't really done videos but my camera is dead and I don't know what the charge is so I was like I really want to record this I really want to get this captured so I said let me try my webcam and see how it works so that's that and I guess I'll come back with a video of what it looks like when I install it um, I will install it tonight um, and hopefully I can show you the video tonight or probably in the morning when I take it out and dry before I go off to work. Okay? So thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Bye. Okay. So I'm back. Um, what I did was I installed the hair. Well, I wet it first to give it a little curl pattern and I had twisted it up into about six or eight twists. Well, y'all seen that because it was on the mannequin, right? So when I took it off the mannequin, I put it onto my head and I ended up installing it. But I realized that the distance between the braid, the base braid that I had and where I was sewn on the track was uh, too close together and it was really, really bulky. So what I did was I had to take out the braid that y'all seen that was connected here and the two was back. I had to take it out and I just took the braids here and then made it straight down and then the piece that was in the back I had to add to my leave out so it's a wider leave out than I have so this is what it looks like this is the braid going on the side and these are the two braids that I had in in the beginning my part is all crooked and stuff um, so with that and then I sold it on the sides this is my first time doing it so I'm not sure how well it was but this is you know I sold it onto the braid this right here is my leave out I sold it this side as well and then around you know in the the horseshoe and then I tried to use my hair to blend it in and my hair was darker all the way like that I thought it was just my roots but I don't know I've never dyed my hair before I've never colored my hair my hair is naturally I guess a dark brown um, kissed by the Sun I guess so but it wasn't blending in with the two so what I did was after even after I installed the wig I had to dye it so I used some, what is it, Clairol's Beautiful Collection in a dark brown um, and took, put my hair, left it in the sections and I wet the hair with a spray bottle and I used the, um, the dye in a bucket with the, you know, the applicator brush and I took the sections and I brushed it all the way up. So this is the color, I'm not sure, lighting in my room is not all that good and then I'm new to the webcam so I'm trying to show you but this is what it looks like 
it was wet so it's a little darker and I think it blends in you really can't tell but I think it blends in with my hair a little more than when it was just a two I hope me and Diana didn't mess up you know adding chemicals to the hair um, but yeah you probably can see I have a plastic bag in the back and that's because I put it up under my up under the wig see I can move it up this way yeah if you can see that and you know just so my hair wouldn't get wet and then that's just you know back like that so I'm leaving it like this to dry um I didn't get any of my hair wet maybe just a little bit up here so I'm just waiting it for it to air dry and then I'm gonna sleep with it like this in the morning I'll take out the twist um I did use some what is that organics coconut um conditioner onto the hair while it was wet as it was twisted um put the dye in you know rinse it out or whatever so this is the results this is what it looks like and hopefully when I take it out in the morning and get ready to go to work then it'll look presentable all right thank you talk to you later bye